Well guys, good morning and welcome back to another episode of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Please let me know down in the comments how you're enjoying Vlogmas. Mm. How many times did I just say Vlogmas? <laughs> So happy that you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode. Oh my gosh, funnest day ever. If you haven't watched yesterday's yet, oh my gosh, please head over there after this. My friend Abby and I got a two-headed Christmas sweater, like, stuck together, and we had a challenge in it. We spent the day, oh my god, so funny. But I'm very excited for today's Vlogmas because I'm going to be doing a chit-chat get ready with me with a bunch of the new Kylie Cosmetics winter products like the christmas drop or winter drop i ordered a lot i ordered one of the sets that came with pretty much everything so we've also been getting a lot of requests to do more chit chat get ready with me's especially during vlogmas so let's just go through first here and see what we have the packaging is very very cute it came in this pink box it looks like everything is kind of blue winter themed so this is the lip collection and I think it has a bunch of mini lip colors. Oh, cute. This packaging is adorable. It's all like shimmery snowflakes and a bunch of little mini lips. Oh, I love that. Then we have Chill Baby. This is a pressed powder palette. The packaging is adorable though. I'm really into it. Even on the inside, it says like burr in shimmery blue writing and little snowflakes. So I respect the packaging. <laughs> this is the eyeshadow palette. Let's take this little protector off. Wow. The colors look very beautiful, I will say. And we have a nice variety of shimmer and matte. Ooh, they're super buttery. And the color names are really cute. Cuddle Season, Wrap It Up, Jingle Baby. Very, very cute. It also came with a lip kit. This one is called Kissmas. Again, adorable packaging. <laughs> this is Learning to Be Fearless, Swooning Over Packaging for 10 Minutes Straight. <laughs> Okay, so the color, I love this combo. I'll probably use this today, but this set is super beautiful. I think they're both called Kissmas. Yeah, so it's a set here, and I like that it has the blue accent. Very holiday. And this color looks like just a perfect nudie. Maybe we can do like a glittery, smoky eye, kind of like a New Year's holiday look or something. Then we have, ooh, we have, this is called Snow Angel. It's a highlighter. I do, I just love this blue packaging. It's so pretty. So it just says Kylie. This is the highlighter. Ooh, nice. That is really pretty. Ooh, I'm so excited. Oh, this is really cute. It's a little like ornament lipstick. This would be a great set to get and you kind of just like divvy it up as Christmas gifts. So this color is called Cold as Ice. Little snowflakes on the packaging. Really pretty, again, blue packaging. Kylie Jenner written in silver on the bottom and, ooh, cold as ice. It's like, oh my God. Look at it, it's like a iridescent metallic purpley tone and it looks like blue here and then in sunlight it looks purple, see? Wow. And then lastly here, this packaging is really cool because it's actually textured, like all these little dots, um, like little sparkly blue dots are actually textured. And this is called Milk and Cookies and it's a super glitter gloss. Ooh, look at that. Oh, okay, oh yes. So it's this right here, like super metallic-y gorgeousness. Oh my gosh. Well, this is quite thrilling, so let's play with it. Okay, um, so I'm gonna just get ready like normal with products that we don't have to try out for Kylie, but we'll use everything we have. So I'm gonna use the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I've been using this now for like a couple weeks and I really like it. It's hydrating, it feels good, I feel like it works well. Smells like coconuts. <laughs> so recently I switched back to one of my favorite foundations. This is like a really oldie but a goodie for me. It's the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. It's, did I just drop some foundation? 
It's a really nice, like, natural coverage concealer, foundation, not concealer. It claims to be a concealer, too. It's basically just got really nice coverage. I love this giant, like, swabby applicator. It's like a giant doe foot. It's wild. I've been using this again. It just looks, like, really natural and pretty. It wears well. I'm a fan. So you guys will have to let me know. How is your Christmas shopping going, your holiday shopping? Are you guys having a fun holiday season? Like, let me know down below what's like your holiday tradition because my family and I have a lot of holiday traditions and I think that's like my favorite part of the holiday season. It's like doing the same cozy stuff every year. Like we're going to this Christmas play. We have a day where we do like cookies together every year and I have a ton of family birthday parties in um, December and January because like my family is so Capricorn <laughs> like we're just a bunch of crazy Capricorns we all have birthdays right around the same time it's like a crazy time of year okay so next I'm gonna use of course the Huda Beauty overachiever concealer I've been using this now for also a few weeks I love it I've talked about it before I'll say it again if you didn't see the tip of it is made of like um, metal or something cold <laughs> It's very depuffing, like you put it under your eyes and you can just like rub it underneath and you can just feel the cool effect of it. It's like super depuffing, it's wonderful. It's also got a nice coverage, it wears well. And then I'm gonna bake with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So if you guys had watched yesterday's video, Abby and I are totally gonna make that a tradition now where every year we save that sweater and we do a different challenge in it. So we tried baking yesterday. <laughs> And um, we were thinking of next year, like, trying to go ice skating in it together. One of you guys recommended we try to build a snowman in it. And I'm like, yes, that is an amazing idea. We honestly might not even wait until next year. If you guys think we should just do, like, another <laughs> challenge with it sometime this winter, you know, when it starts to snow, we could definitely do the snowman idea. I think it's such a good idea. All right, I'm just going to quickly throw on my brows with the Anastasia Browis. All right, brows are on. We're getting hydrated. I hate when you get an ice cube in your mouth and you're like, is this too big to swallow? Should I let it melt? <laughs> so while we're baking, I think I wanna play with the eyeshadow palette just in case there's any fallout because it's possible. I don't know why I'm just feeling like, I'm just feeling like a <laughs> cool smoky eye, which is the opposite of everything I ever like to do. So it'll be a nice little switch up. Like I'm feeling, like a holiday vibe right now. Like I don't know if it's necessarily Christmas or New Year's. It could be whatever holiday you feel. Wear it to Target, I don't care. But like I'm trying to go smoky today. Yes, I'm like looking at this palette again just like yes. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this color. It's called Make Magic and maybe a little, actually no, I'm gonna take Cuddle Season. Pop that in the crease. Okay, these are very powdery. Like, I touched it and it was just like, pshh, hot, dusty mess over here. <sighs> Don't love that. But, you know, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Wow, that's very powdery. All right, so I'm just going to kind of lay this down, dust it in the crease, get a little base action here. Um, wow, there's so many good colors here. I'm like, where do I start? Like, I want Mrs. Claus on my eyelids immediately. Like, she's a gunmetal y, she's smoky, she's like super metallic. I am already here. You know what? Let's just do it. <laughs> just go. Why am I using my left hand for this? Oh, it matches my nails. Oh my god, it like really matches my nails. I do. I need this on my eyelid. It is so pretty. Oh. I don't know if it's translating on camera, but it's like so beautiful. It's like just shimmer, beauty, magicness. I'm gonna see if it applies the same with a brush. Cause sometimes, you know, fingers are a little bit better for that kind of shadow. Mm, I like it better with the finger actually. And you don't get as any much fallout. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh yeah, we just got a lot of fallout. Thank God we still have our baking powder on. We can sweep it away. I'm gonna take this Hello Winter color. It's like um, kind of like a deep, deep plummy purple, almost black. I'm gonna smoke her out a little bit. Smoke it! And I'm just buffing that in with a Sigma E35. This is my favorite kind of adding depth brush. Like it packs it on, but it also kind of blends it a little bit. And then I'm taking my Lancome 17 brush and I'm taking that around the edges 
kind of just soften her up a little. These definitely have a lot of fallout, but they're very beautiful. Like, just be cautious. <laughs> I might take a little bit of spirit here as well. It's kind of just like a charcoal gray. And I'm just really smoking that out. And I'm taking more of that Mrs. Claus color as well and adding it to the front because you can kind of lose these colors when you start to like add in a crease color. Yeah, I want it to pop. The good thing is these are very layerable and you can really like build that shimmer. And now I'm just gonna really blend that depth out because it's, it's a lot. <laughs> I do like the way it looks though. I am impressed with the colors. I also think I'm gonna take a little bit of Jingle Baby. It's like a shimmery, like champagne-y tone. And I'm just gonna take that with my finger and I'm gonna pop it right in the center of my eye to kind of brighten up the center. Make my eye look a little bit bigger. It's just like a little trick to like open up the eye. And then I just lightly blend around it. Yes, I really like how that looks. Okay, so I just finished both eyes and I added a little bit more like shimmer in the front and I think it looks really, really pretty. The shadows blend really nicely together. Yes, I really like it. We'll smoke out the underneath once we finish like the skin and whatnot. So for now, I'm gonna sweep away my under eye baking and hope for the best. Hope that those eyeshadows skirt skirt on out of here. Mm, not too bad. Do you ever like leave your baking on like a little too long and it kind of like gets a little crusty? <sighs> just me. And I'm just going to take the rest of that powder and set the rest of my face. Okay, so if you guys had seen in the previous Vlogmas, I tested out this from Charlotte Tilbury, the Film Star Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. And if you're wondering the shade, it's fair slash medium. So I'm gonna use this because I've been using this every day to bronze up and contour and I'm obsessed with it. The color is just absolutely perfect. Uh, I just feel like it looks super natural. It wears nicely. I'm really into Charlotte Tilbury lately. Oh my gosh. Oh, just such a good color. And I am going to cut my contour today because whenever we go smoky, I feel the need to be extra in every aspect. <laughs> just give us a little extra definition there. Blush, I have also still been using that Charlotte Tilbury blush we used last time, Cheek to Chic, Swish and Pop Blusher in First Love. Mm, so soft and subtle and pretty. Can't wait to try this Kylie highlighter. It's gonna be beautiful, hopefully it looks beautiful. Let's try out Snow Angel. I do still just love her packaging on everything. Ooh. Whoa! I can see why it's called Snow Angel. It's a very like frosty, wintry color. It's very cool toned. Oh my god, I love it though. That is a yes from me. I will say though, every time I try something Kylie Cosmetics, I'm usually pretty pleased. Whew. What? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the blush a little bit, but wow. I have not glammed this hard in a minute and I'm loving it. Guys, I can't stop looking at this highlighter. I don't know what to do with myself. I need to stop it. Okay. And now I'm just gonna blend away the under contour baking. I'm really feeling this. I'm, I don't even have lashes on and I'm feeling this. Oh, So, I do wanna smoke out my under eye a little bit because it's smoky, honey. So I think I'm gonna use these two corner colors, the Mrs. Claus and then Just Chill um, because we use them on top and I think it'll look really nice. And then I also might take a little Jingle Baby in like the center under the eye, like, like we had done on top to kind of uh, soften up and open the eye. So I'm gonna take that light, just um, Jingle Baby color and first just pop that under the center. And I'm gonna grab Mrs. Claus now and follow the outer corner. And I'm gonna kind of like connect it up into our color. And I'm also grabbing Just Chill and kind of softening that a little bit. These colors are so pretty. I really like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw on just a little bit of black eyeliner and some lashes. Guys, I am so into this look right now. I'm not even like a big fan of myself with like smoky makeup on like this, but I actually really like the colors. It's got a nice little tone to it. I feel like this would be a really good New Year's look. Um, the lashes I'm wearing are Pompadour from Kiss. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do this lip, which I'm stoked about. I can't wait to see 
how this looks. Again, this is the set called Kissmas, like Christmas, but with a kiss. I will say I do really like the lip liners. They go on very easily. They glide. Hmm. Kind of peachy. It's like a peachy nude. I feel like it's pulling like low-key orange and I don't know if I like it so <laughs> I'm gonna grab a color from this little set here with a little bit more of like a pinky nude undertone because this just feels like very orange <laughs> this one's called small wonder mm. it's a little pinker I refuse to leave this tutorial until I am satisfied with my lip choice I'm gonna grab another color <laughs> <laughs> this one's called sweater weather they all look the same. <laughs> I'm just like putting on more and nothing's really happening. You know what, at this rate, we may as well just top her off with the gloss. Because I almost feel like it could help it. I almost feel like it could save us a little bit. Like, this one's the Milk and Cookies gloss. Ooh. We may as well just go all out at this point, right guys? Ooh. When the light hits the gloss, it's like this really pretty reflection. That's pretty. Actually, I really like that gloss. So here's our look, Vogue. <laughs> what do we think? Honestly, very impressed with all of this from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm definitely not mad that I purchased it. I just really like that gloss. Like, I feel like you could throw that on top of almost anything and it would just give like this really pretty like rusty, like <laughs> metallic finish to it. I don't know. I really like it. I really like this look. Hopefully you guys liked it too. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you guys want to see more Get Ready With Me, Sorrel Vlogmas, definitely let me know down in the comments and we can do more. I didn't really have anything exciting going on today, so I thought this would be a great alternative for an episode of Vlogmas. And again, if you haven't watched yesterday's yet, please go and laugh your butt off. And I love you guys so, so, so much. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.